Hello everyone! Today's session is about practice exercises on money. You will be answering questions about comparing money. This is Teacher Angel and welcome to Math in You! The learning goal of today's session is to solve problems involving money. But wait, let us recall our lesson on how to read money. Alright, say 75 centavos. Very good. 90 centavos. Good job. 205 pesos. Well done. Alright, now let's recall how to compare the amounts of money. Okay, let's use greater than, less than, or equals to compare the amounts. Okay, for number one, yes, 70 centavos is less than 75 centavos. Very good. Next, right, 280 pesos is greater than 150 pesos and 50 centavos. Next, Great! 465 pesos and 50 centavos is less than 975 pesos and 25 centavos. And the last question? You're right! It's equal. They are equal. 300 pesos and 25 centavos is the same as 300 pesos and 25 centavos. Okay, so are you ready? To solve problems? Alright, so please get your pen and paper. Alright, for question number one. Diego saved 138 pesos and 50 centavos yesterday, while Isaac saved 139 pesos and 75 centavos. Who saved more? Alright, go. Okay, let's check. So the amount of Diego's money is 138 pesos and 50 centavos, while Isaac has 139 pesos and 75 centavos. Who has more? Yes, Isaac saved more money than Diego. Alright, question number two. A kilo of mango costs 285 pesos and 50 centavos. While a kilo of banana costs 250 pesos and 45 centavos, which costs less? Okay. Alright, time is up. Let's check. Okay, that's the price of the mango and the banana. Alright, a kilo of banana costs less than a kilo of mango. Alright, question number three. Store A sells a sachet of shampoo for 6 pesos and 75 centavos, while Store B sells it for 6 pesos and 50 centavos, which has a higher price. Okay, let's check. Store A has. Or store A price is 6 pesos and 75 centavos. Store B, 6 pesos and 50 centavos. Alright, so Store A has a higher price than Store B. Question number 4. A pen costs 20 pesos and 75 centavos. Mark has 5 5 peso coins. Can he buy the pen? Yes or no? And then why?
All right, let's check. Pen's price is 20 pesos and 75 centavos. Mark's money, he has 5, 5 peso coins. So let's keep count by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 pesos. So can he buy? Yes, he can buy the pen because 25 pesos is greater than 20 pesos and 75 centavos. Okay, question number 5. Shane received four 20 peso bills and one 500 peso bill as her allowance. How much is her allowance? Okay, let's check. Shane's allowance. She has four 20 peso bills that is equal to 80 pesos and one 500 bill. So 80 plus 500. Yes, that is equal to 580 pesos. All right. Question number six. Below are some of the things that you can buy in the bookstore. Okay, the Elmer's glue costs 25 pesos. The eraser costs 30 pesos. The notebook costs 20, 20 pesos. And the colored pencils cost 50 pesos. Can you buy all the items if you have 150 pesos? Why do you think so? Okay, go! <music> Alright, let's check. Total amount of the things, we add 25, 30, 20, and 50. The sum or the total is 125 pesos. And your money is 150 pesos. So can you buy? Yes, you can buy because 150 pesos is greater than 125 pesos. Okay, next. Question number seven. Fred has one 50 peso bill and three 10 peso coins, while Jello has three 20 peso bills and four 5 peso coins. Who has more money? Okay, go. <music> Okay, let's check Fred's amount of money. He has 80 pesos, jealous money. He also has 80 pesos. So, who has more money? Yeah, right. Nobody or none because 80 is the same as 80. They have the same amount of money. Alright, question number 8. Liz wants to buy a coloring book that costs 250 pesos. Her aunt gave her two 50 peso bills and three 10 peso coins. Can she buy the coloring book? Okay, go. <music> Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's check. Alright, the coloring book's price is 250 pesos and list money. 250s, that is 100, and then 310, so 130 pesos. Okay, her money is not enough, right? So Liz cannot buy the coloring book, okay? Because her money is not enough. Okay, question number 9. Mark has 3 10 peso coins and 4 20 peso bills, while John has 2 5 peso coins and 1 50 peso bill. Who has more money? All right, let's check. Mark has 110 pesos and John has 60 pesos. So who has more money? Yeah, it's Mark. Mark has more money. All right, let's have question number 10. Yay, the last question. Mary has two 10 peso coins one 20 peso bill and two five peso coins while julia has one 50 peso bill three 10 peso coins and one five peso coin now how much is mary's money how much is julia's money who has more money and why do you think she has the greater amount of money all right and go Time is up. Let's check Mary's amount. Okay, two 10 peso coins, one 20 peso bill, and two 5 peso coins. The total is 50 pesos, right? While Julia has the following 50, one 50 bill, three 10 peso coins, and one 5 peso coin. The total is 85 pesos. So, who has more? Yeah, Julia has more money than Mary because 85 pesos is greater than 50 pesos. Yay, you're done. It's the end of the practice exercises. Alright, children, I hope that you learned something today and you got a good score. If not, you can go back to these exercises and practice review. You can also go and check lesson 1 and 2 about money. Alright? Okay, and thank you so much for listening. Stay tuned for more math videos. Alright, goodbye everyone. God bless you all.